Today I am making 15 minute soups. Now I don't claim to be a fantastic cook. They fill a little, they fill a lot. Hmm. Why that's not working. My job as a mom is to just get dinner on the table. The great thing about these soups is that they're so easy and so fast that literally anyone can throw them together. All right, let's get cooking. The first recipe I'm making is cheesy beef taco soup. All right, you're gonna take one pound of ground beef and you're just gonna put it into a large stock pot. And we're just gonna break this up and cook the meat. Once your meat is starting to brown, go ahead and add one onion to the mix. And we're just gonna cook that while the meat browns. Then we're gonna take one pound of Velveeta cheese and we're gonna cut it up while the meat is cooking. Once the meat is done cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and take this off the stove and we're gonna rinse and drain the grease out. So now you're just gonna add everything on top. So we're gonna put our Velveeta cheese just right on there. We have one can or 14 ounces of beef broth, one can of black beans that we rinsed and drained, one can of corn that we left undrained. We want that liquid in there. So we have two cans of diced tomatoes. So about, what, 28 ounces total. We're gonna also leave those undrained. Then the last two things, we have green chilies that we're just dumping in there. And then one packet of your favorite taco seasoning. Then we're just going to mix this together until everything is heated through and just well combined. Once everything is mixed and well combined, you can go ahead and serve it. The next recipe is our 15 minute chili. So this one I'm gonna cook in an Instant Pot, but you can do it in a stock pot too. So first we're gonna just push the saute button and we're gonna let it heat up. Then this recipe we're going to use ground turkey. You can use beef too if you want to, but I like turkey. Then we're just gonna chop up the turkey with our lovely chopster. If you don't have one of those, I highly suggest it. We're just gonna cook this until it's all the way browned. After about a minute or two, I'm gonna go ahead and add a half onion to a whole onion. I'm adding a whole one because I actually really love onions. And then you're just gonna add everything else. So we're gonna add two cans of stewed tomatoes. Then we have two cans of beans. So we have kidney beans. Now these are rinsed and drained. And then we have pinto beans. These are also rinsed and drained. Then we have half a cup of salsa. I like using Herdez salsa, that's my favorite. And then for the seasonings, we just have one tablespoon, oh boy, one tablespoon of chili powder and then another tablespoon of cumin. Then you're just going to mix everything together until it's heated through. I love making chili. I just think it has the perfect consistency. All right, my favorite thing to serve with chili is I love Fritos on my chili. Then I like to add a little bit of sour cream. I'll mix that all in. And then usually after everything's mixed, I will add cheese on top. And the last recipe I'm making is our seven can taco soup. Now I love having all the ingredients of this in my pantry, so on a really crazy night and I don't know what to cook, I can literally throw this together in just a few minutes. It is called seven can taco soup because you're literally using seven cans. So we're gonna start with our canned chicken. If you don't like canned chicken, you can use rotisserie chicken too. That will work just fine. The next can is canned corn and I'm going to leave the liquid in there. Next is just one can of chicken broth, so about 14 ounces. I rinsed and drained one can of pinto beans. We have one can of diced tomatoes. I like the little diced tomatoes in my taco soup. And then it calls for green enchilada sauce. Now you usually get a smaller can, but they were out. So we're gonna just use half of this. So you wanna use about, I don't know, 14 ounces or so of green enchilada sauce, maybe even 10 ounces. Kind of depends on how you like it. All right, took a little longer, had a little accident, only had avocado band-aids. So it's gonna be about a 17 minute recipe instead of 15. And the can that caused all the problems is the black beans. So really Rinsed and drain, black beans, there we go. And the last thing, you want some seasoning, so we're just gonna add some taco seasoning in there. You can also add some salt and pepper. I usually add that with each individual bowl. Now we're just gonna mix everything together. Now as I mix, I want you to realize everything has been cooked through, so you can just put this on saute and wait till it's all heated up, or you can pressure cook this for about three minutes, whatever you wanna do. I'm gonna do the saute button because my kids are ready to eat, we're ready to go, so we'll just keep mixing this until everything is nice and hot. I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of cheese on here because you know, cheese is good with everything. And then because it is our tortilla soup, we're gonna eat it with some tortillas. So for the taste testing this time, I'm gonna let them try all three at the same time and they're gonna tell us which one they like better. So we have three different numbers. So this is our number one, number two, and number three. Okay, number one. 
pretty good. Yep. Okay. Yep. Try number two. All right, number three. My favorite is number one and number three. Number one and number three. I like it. Number one was my favorite. I like number three. Now if you want more quick meals, I got plenty for you. It's just right up there. Okay guys, I'll see you later. <laughs>